In this video, we're going to take a look at how to spin a curve into a solid object. So in this little example here, this is some sort of bowl that I've just made. You can see that what I've done is I've actually just drawn a curve that represents sort of the shape of the bowl, and I spin it around the z-axis, and it produces this mesh. This can be used for a lot of things like cups and bowls and bells and really any shape that has a full circle or even part of a circle. So let's just show you how to do it. So let's go File New. Let's get rid of the cube. And here's the basic idea. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get a curve that points up and down. So, And then I'm going to spin it around the z-axis to make my shape. So here we go. Let's go Add, Curve, Bezier. Now you can see by default it's laying flat. Let's get this thing standing up. Rotate, Y, 90. Okay, and it is standing up now. Now all I do, okay, all I do is I just modify the curve to look like the cross section of your shape. Then I convert it to a mesh and I spin it. So here we go. Tab key, edit mode for the curve. Let's get this thing, nothing too fancy here. I'll just sort of work fast. I'll get a basic shape. Let's get this one here. A bit more like that. Um, I don't know if you want to see that thing I just made. Let's E to extrude a little bit, just so it looks a little more fancy. And there's not too bad of a shape. Now, the rule, let's hit three. There's my nice side view. So this is going to spin around forming a 3D shape. Now, the thing is, is where's the spin point? The spin point is actually the cursor. So when I'm left clicking here, that's going to be what it spins around. So you got to be careful where to put this. If I put it here, this thing spins around this point right here, this axis. And you're going to get a weird shape because this is going to whip around and make a mess. Uh, if you put it out here, this whole thing spins huge around it and you're going to be left with a gap there. So for this first example, what I'll do is I want to put the cursor right on that point. That way, if it spins around that point, it'll be a nice connected bottom of my bowl. So I select it by right clicking and I go select, whoops. I select it by right clicking and then I go curve, snap, cursor to selected. Bam. The cursor is right on that point. Now, I don't want to left click by accident like I just did and move it again. So, right, we want it left there. So, curve, snap, cursor to select it. Perfect. Okay, let's go into object mode. And that's what I end up happening. Now, oops, it didn't snap. Let's go back. Select, curve, snap, cursor to select it. Perfect. Tab object mode. There we go. The cursor's right on that point. Now what I want to do is I need to convert this curve to an object or to a mesh. So object, way at the top here, convert to mesh. Okay, you can't really spin the curve. you got to spin a mesh. So mesh, done. That's it. Edit mode and spin. Tab, edit mode. A to select all the points, so they're all going to spin, and just select spin. Now, okay, it's spinning, but that's a weird direction. It has not spun it beautifully around the z-axis. Well, here's why. I said nine steps, which, by the way, that's how many pieces there's going to be. Angle 90. Let me just up this to 180 right now. But here's the key. The center, don't touch it. That's why we move the cursor. That's the spin center. But it's this thing right here, the axes. I had made my curve stand sort of up and down because I don't want any spinning on the X. I don't want any spinning on the Y. I want spinning on the Z only. So I can set Z to 1. So no X spinning, no Y spinning. All the spinning is around the blue, right? Around the Z axis. And so that's where you get your spin. So you notice this is great. Um, if I change the angle and increase it, 
All right, you'll notice this change in here. It's just faster, I'll go 270. And if I wanted the full circle, 360. So you can see, you don't have to do the full circle, you can just do parts. And notice, because my center point was locked right to the bottom of the curve, it's a perfect uh, bottom of this thing built. Okay, and the spin works beautifully. Now, if I go into solid mode, it basically, that's, that's it. That's your mesh now, right? A perfect bell. While I'm still here, though, I'm just going to backtrack a bit. I'm going to left-click the cursor way over there. Just show you what happens now if I have all selected and I spin. Let's set this back to zero. No spin on the Z. One on the Z. Notice how it's spun around the cursor. So there's the gap now. Maybe sometimes that's what you want, maybe not. Okay, let's say I'm happy with that, I'm all done. I go to object mode, that's now applied. When I go back in the edit mode, that's the mesh now, right? And you're done. So that's spinning uh, curves. It's a little harder, but not bad, right? You can make some neat stuff.